Hi, hi guys, it's Steve here from James Glenn Car Sales. But today we have one of our favourites and that is a BMW 3 Series Touring. And um, for the fellow petrolheads of us, we refer to these as a BMW F31. It's a 320D M Sport two-wheel drive and it's a, it's a rare manual. Really, really nice car, exceptionally clean full and complete BMW service history. Uh, we have just replaced all four tyres with four Goodyear F1s um, and new distance pads all round. So uh, without further ado, uh, let me show you around. So it is a 2019, um, it's actually, a, sorry guys, it's actually a shadow edition, um, which gives it the uh, shadow edition wheels, the inset dark, uh, so the dark insets in the, 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 the lights at the front and also the smoke lights at the back which will go through um, as we progress around the car. <coughs> it's also got standard fitment of professional navigation and Harman Kardon. So we'll just take a slow walk around the car so that you can take in the general appearance. Once we've done that we'll then get closer up to the car's paintwork so that you can get a better grasp of the, the condition. All cars here are MOT'd upon arrival. They are then put through an 82 point inspection uh, which highlights any items that need addressed. Uh, on this particular car, the, there was three tyres that were beginning to crack and one tyre which had just been replaced. So rather than having um, a kind of mismatch of three in one, we have fitted four matching premium brand tyres, which uh, are, as I mentioned earlier, are uh, Goodyear Eagle F1s along with this. So all the two rather large service items ticked off. Uh, however, once the car is finished being mechanically prepped, it then comes back to herself here and it is, it is then machine polished. Uh, it's quite a thorough detailing process, which hopefully, as you can see in the reflection in the bonnet there, results in a lovely, lovely finish with absolutely no swirl, no car mark, car washy marks, and just a lovely clean finish on the Alpine white paint mark. So we'll get a bit closer in now. Um, just take a good look at the front bumper. Uh, just make sure that there's nothing that you need to know about if you are intending on travelling to see the car. We've got right down close to this one stone chip just down here and another tiny one just down here, but that is um, the camera about 10 inches from the paintwork. But certainly, as far as stone chip goes, they are extremely uh, minimal on this car. Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from the front, uh, we'll try and highlight anything you should know about by way of any scratches, dents, or um, yes, parking dents or scratches, I should say. Which there is none to report. The alloy wheel on the front is free from any damage, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've got brand new distant pads there, and also a brand new Goodyear tyre, which is still wearing the ink mat because the workshop is just around the corner. From the rear to the front again, just picking up all the, the body lines, all the reflections there, just to show that there is absolutely no parking dents, no damage. New side rear wheel, Goodyear Eagle F1, few disc and pad in there. There is a tiny, tiny little bit of lacquer just beginning to lift here, but there is no damage to the wheel. I'm looking in through the passenger side. A good look at the driver's seat from over here just to make sure that there is no scuff marks on the outer bolster. The armrests are all in good condition. The gear knob's free from any damage, which you can sometimes find with uh, wedding ring, etc. And also around about the centre console where we can sometimes find that phones have been carelessly thrown in and out over the years. The interior is absolutely pristine. There's, that seat looks like it's hardly been sat in, in fact. Door check again, absolutely spot on. There's not even a scuff on the plastic sill cover. Door card, absolutely perfect. Again, sometimes you can have little marks down here where the door's been closed over on the seat belt. And across the rear bench, just to make sure that there's no indentations from kiddies booster seats or anything like that, but we're all good. Got the factory carpet over mats front and back as well. Door check all nice and clean, as is the door card.
being in a state, they, these cars can sometimes have um, a little bit more wear and tear around the rear end of the vehicle because people use their bias states to carry things in. But it is absolutely perfect. I'll just try and get the reflection of the light there on the top of the back bumper. Just to show that there's absolutely no damage. The loading area is absolutely spotlessly clean. Got your little net there as well. Extra storage. Net over the other side too. Got little hooks there if you're hanging your bags on so they don't roll about in the boot. That's, that's your load cover. And also a dog net there as well. That, don't worry guys, that doesn't mean that it's a dog cart. The tourers all come with these built into the load cover. Car's just been valeted, the car's put itself into protection mode, so it's turned off the convenience features such as the power tailgate. But, but once you start the car up, we can see that all works fine. And we've got the rear parking sensors on there too. As I mentioned earlier, being a shadow edition, we've got the tinted rear light lenses and also the black shadow chrome exhaust tips. So start off again. Taking in the length of the offside from the rear. Again, just trying to um, highlight the bodywork as best I can. No parking dents, no scratches, no dents. Offside rear wheel, free from damage. And again, wearing a new Goodyear Eagle F1 tire and new discs and pads in the back. And finally, from the front to the rear, on the offside. She is exceptionally clean. And finally, last wheel, good year. You just bad, and an alley wheel which is free from any damage. Although there is a very, very light bit of moisture just under the lacquer there. Driver's door card, just taking in all the usual touch points. Top of the door card, the round about the electric window switches and the grab bar, all free from anywhere. Door sill, again, no scratches from people getting in and out of the vehicle carelessly. And the backrest, bolster, base, and outer bolster on the base, all in fantastic shape. Steering wheel, again, paying particular attention to the two o'clock area around the steering wheel which can pick up excessive wear but being this sort of mileage that really should not be of a concern. Hopping into the car, we'll get it started, confirm the mileage and just demonstrate the car idles without any faults. So next service to you, 16,000 miles or March 2016. Let's put the lights on and light the dashboard up. We've got professional navigation, got your Hammond card and audio system there. And if we go in through the iDrive, we can have a look at the vehicle service history. Service history all there, present and correct. And if we go across, engine oil is not due for 16,000 miles or May 2025. Current mileage, 27,688. In general, the interior is in absolute outstanding condition and um, just a really really nice place to be having owned three of these cars I can vouch for them wholeheartedly just recently upgraded to the G series and I have to say I still do really really like this model so finally we'll just pop the bonnet and have a look under at the uh, under the bonnet at the engine compartment it is a two litre diesel producing 184 brake horsepower you can expect outstanding fuel economy and it is still fairly lively as well.
And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to get in contact. You can either do that by giving us a, giving us a call. Telephone number at the garage is 01236 779000. I will also put a link to the website below where you can access more information on the car or you can drop us an email. Um, we're more happy to assist with a part exchange valuation or if you're looking for a finance quotation, um, we have managed to secure rates of 9.9 .9 APR and that is for both higher purchase and PCP. We won't buy any car.com, but we might just buy your car and for a great price too. If you have something similar to sell, please do feel free to get in touch for evaluation. I'll also put the link to our car buying service down below. All of our vehicles are sourced through our own car buying service and not bought from auction. The only other place where we generate stock is from our own part exchanges. So nothing in here has come from auction or any other trade platform. Thanks again for making it to the end of the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. As I say, my name is Stephen. As you are looking at a BMW video, I will put a video up here that I think you might find, in find interesting. Also, if you would consider subscribing to the channel, that would be fantastic. And you can do that down here. That way you'll not miss any more stock updates or any more car reviews. Thanks again. And uh, also, if you get any questions, stick it in the comments. We always reply. Failing that, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.